As a solo player, I'm used to getting beaten by bigger groups. And I'm okay with that. But if there's something I hate, it's getting belittled by another group. And well, that's just what happened this time. And let's just say I think they regret it. But for this intro and this title to make sense, we'll need some context. So let's start from the beginning, on the beaches of Happy's Island. It's been a while since I've played on Happy's, but I'm happy to be back. Hopefully we can have a good run. Start sorted. Why does Hapis look so weird? Like, why is it so blue? What the? What? <laughs> What's that thing? The refiner is. Pr like pretty good if I remember correctly like it usually has a lot of boxes easy scrap and the PvP should be pretty good so Easy. After a fantastic start, I found a good spot to place down my base. Okay, we got a base. Now, I'm gonna roam this revolver, cause like... I got so many BPs. I couldn't care less if I died with it, but uh, I want to get a level 1 workbench. So I think I'm gonna, like, I have the hazmat suit, so I'm gonna go do refinery. After getting up a base, I went out to get enough scrap for a level 1 workbench. Take this free mixing table. Hell yeah. Take all of this. I think this is metal frags now, but I'll take it. Pog. Set pipes. I'm gonna save one of those because I, I mean I can't craft this. I mean I probably won't, but 
I can. Oh fuck, yeah. Gary Strong's on level 2. Fuck. We're gonna learn level 2 then. Shit. Did not think about that. Let's go check out refinery. See if I want to find some PvP. I have a level 1, but I do need a level 2. Forgot that garage stores are a tier 2 BP now. I mean, I kind of like that change though. Garage doors were way too OP. And also why I'm playing on Happiest is... So, first of all I had a fucking shit wipe. Like, I just had a really bad wipe. So I wanna chill back, play some solo, play some Happiest because I, I missed Happiest. And then also, uh, Face Punch is wiping all BPs, which means that these BPs that I've had, had for like a year now, uh, are gonna be gone soon, so I want to make the best of it. Why not? I can actually find my way out with this this thing. I, I missed some stuff. I knew it. So much shit here. So happy I came back. What else did I miss? Nothing here. Basically, just that room again. I crafted some bullets for my revolver and went over to military tunnels. No crates this time. On my way home from military tunnels, I saw an active base. I had died and lost my only gun, but I wasn't too sad about it. I knew my time would come.
With this gun now, it was time to snowball. But then I ran into some troubles. Now this pissed me off. Okay, you wanna fucking. You wanna have a fight? I'll have a fight. And no, not because I lost some loot. All I lost was a P2. It was the way they were talking to me, as they were pushing me. It made me feel like nothing. I would not let this slide. After dying to them yet again, I grabbed a DB with some slugs and went back again. Чел, 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 там чувак бежит. Ты долбоёб. I win, bitch. I went back to get the leftovers. And I get everything. Now I'd gotten back all my loot, plus even more. But I wanted even more from them. And now I knew exactly where they lived. You might not have catched it, but right after they killed me, I heard doors opening, which meant they lived there. In this small little shitty 2x1. They would definitely be my first raid target. But for that, I would need a level 3 workbench, and way more sulfur to craft the explosives. I saw an airdrop in the distance, so I went to check it out. Airdrops are actually pretty pog, like 150 scrap almost. Like they're so worth to go for. Of course this could have been better, I could have gotten like a C4 or something, but like this is this is fine. Holy, holy fuck, that's good. That's so good. I did just what I need. Fucking farm. With these newly found resources, I did some upgrading to the base. Then to get more scrap, I went back to military tunnels.
six of them. Holy shit. After this loss, I decided it was time to log off. Next morning when I came back on, I did some small amounts of farming. Then I heard some shots coming from the neighbor's base. So I went to check it out. They were doing some upgrades to their base. Actually pushed me. Come on. Shoot him now. Bro, what's these fucking names? I wanna get that AK. Like, are you gonna go out with that or are you just gonna fucking. Like, when I see people in those bases, those guys are PvPs. <laughs> but I haven't seen, like, I've barely seen them out, so I'm not sure. We went from like half a box of guns to nothing, or like a box of guns to nothing. I was right, I had lost a lot of guns, so it was time to take out the trusty compound bow and try to regain some of the guns I had lost. Holy fucking... I'm fucking dipping. What the... My man had a whole less compound on, on him. After this I decided to do a big recycling run. And if I survive, I will have enough scrap for level 3 workbench. We're getting so much shit. Five hundred scrap already. We're gonna have a th Tier 3 in no time. I crafted the level 3 workbench, but I still didn't have nearly enough sulfur to raid. 
because I spent mostly my time on the server PvPing, and the resources I did have, I'd gotten from other people. After this, I went to go eat. And then when I came back, I went to check around the area. When I saw that one of my neighbor's bases had decayed. You know, that guy I fought in the beginning. Oh my god. Because those guys are rich, right? Dad? What the hell is this? Okay, we're for sure doing some reading now. I used the explosives I'd found in the base to try and reach main loot. Jackpot. With this, I could definitely do some more raiding. And nice. I knew just who to hit. But there were some counters outside. I went outside to try and clear them. I died, but I just waited for them to leave and then transferred all the loot to my base. Then I started to get ready for the raid. I had no idea if this would be an online raid or an offline, so I had to be ready for anything.
They were absolutely loaded. I transferred all the loot to my base and unfortunately that night I got offline raided. But I would say I had a pretty good run. With almost no farming done I'd come from naked on the beach to the next day rocket raiding my neighbors who had talked shit to me and belittled me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're new around here and leave any feedback on how I can improve my videos down in the comment section. Also join my discord server for channel updates or if you just want to chat with me. These videos take a long time to make so if you want to support me a little extra you can do that over at my patreon. All the links for that are in my description. But I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and goodbye.